Sandy, you've been organizing track days uh, across Canada for how long now? For over 20 years. 20 years. So you know a thing or two about track. A little track. bit. And how many would you have in a year? We, we have as much as, well, this year we have 35 track days. Wow. At various tracks. That's crazy. It is. So this is perfect. Let's talk about somebody getting prepared for their very first time on the racetrack. So they've gone out, they've bought an R1, an R6, something like that. They've been riding around with their buddies and now they're thinking, I want to take this to the track. I want to improve my riding skills. What do they have to do to prep a bike? This is, this is a track bike, an R1 uh, that's been prepped for the track. It looks like it's had a lot of work done to it. Yeah, you don't, people think you have to go this far, but you don't. Mm -hmm. Basically, we ask that you remove your coolant, tape right. up your lights, remove your mirrors, or tape them up. And basic maintenance, check your tire pressures and make sure your chain and sprockets are adjusted and lubed and brake pads are, are functioning, yeah. and you're good to go. Wow, now do the, do the bikes go through a technical inspection like we would during a, a race day? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. They're actually more strict in certain things because people will have their street bikes may have been on the road for X 20,000 or more kilometers and some things may be lacking like fork seals and stuff like that. So I wouldn't expect that just anyone could show up with leaks and uh, loose parts, but uh, generally a stock uh, model yeah. is good to go with the coolant removed and water Re replacing it. Right, so let's explain that for a second. You're going to ask them to drain their coolant and replace it with water, so there will be liquid in the radiator. That's correct. Um, but maybe we better tell them why we want the coolant out. That's, that's pretty easy. It's basically coolant's very hard to clean up. If we did have a spill or a leak, it is very slippery right. and it could cause other riders to fall down. Right. Um, so we just asked for it's a very simple and safe, uh, cheap way to go track riding. Yeah. All we ask is that your coolant is removed and okay. you're good to go. Um, now what's going to get my bike rejected if it goes through tech? What kind of things can go wrong in tech? Well, I mean, loose parts, which typically you can fix. Mm -hmm. uh, leaking fork seals, where there's enough fluid coming out of it that's getting onto your brake rotors and your brake pads, right. causing you stopping issues. Right. Okay, so I got my bike ready to go on the track. What about myself? Are there anything you tell first time track people to consider when they come out to a track day? Like how, how much time will they get on a racetrack? Well, they'll get up to uh, seven 20 minute sessions a day. And that is a lot of riding. Mm -hmm. It is a very physical sport. Mm -hmm. With my experience over 20 years, I see young guys in very good shape yeah. and older guys in not so great shape. Yeah. Uh, you know, getting tired at about the same rate. And it's a lot of it is about how much energy energy you expel yeah. using it, uh, going out there. But uh, generally you want to be in, in good shape, have some good meals and dehydrated and get ready to enjoy the day. Yeah, on a hot day like today, lots of water. Lots of water. Yeah. Well, that's great, Sandy. Thanks for walking us through prepping for our first track day. Appreciate it. Thank you.